What's up guys? For today's video, I'm working on a boat that I never thought I'd actually own, but after a really crazy Facebook find, I'm excited to try it out. So with that being said, we're gonna be taking a break from the big boat over here and checking out a pond prowler. Now these type of boats are set up for specific use cases. This isn't a boat that you're gonna take out on a big lake, but considering I have a lot of small ponds and also very shallow areas of the lake I visit often, I really think I'm gonna be able to get some use out of it if I end up liking it. Now, I've had kayaks in the past, and I've absolutely loved them. So the way I look at this is kind of like a giant in kayak. Everybody I talk to that owns one absolutely loves them. I am really undecided on how I'm actually going to like this thing, but I am really excited to at least give it a fair shot. I got it for a ridiculously good price on Facebook. It came with the whole setup, the seats, the motor, all that for like 200 bucks. So even on the worst case scenario, I hate it. It'll be an easy flip on Marketplace, and I won't be out any money. With that being said, there's a couple things I need to do to this to get it ready for the water. Now, like I mentioned, there's a couple things I want to do to this before I take it out. The number one thing is definitely get it cleaned up. This is pretty filthy. It was in the back of someone's garage. They were actually trying to clean out the garage to make space. It's in really good condition. There's no holes or damage or anything like that to it. It just really needs a good cleaning. So the focus of today's video is I'm going to show you guys how to clean and protect a plastic boat. The techniques I learned from owning kayaks, I think will transfer really well over to the plastic boat. I'll get into specifics as we get into it, but the basic idea is gonna be to give it a really good cleaning and then UV protection. That way, whether the boat stays with me or another owner, it's gonna be good to stay in the sun. All right, well, let's get started. First thing I wanna do is get this out into the driveway so we have some room to work on it. I'm gonna take out any loose bits, blow it out with the air blower, and then give it a wash. Now, as always, when I buy used boats, I always like to see what goodies are included. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's much in this one. It looks like we have uh, a bolt, some spare wire, some resistors, an Allen key. I think that might be it. Let's go ahead and get this pulled out. We can start cleaning it up and see what it looks like. The nice thing is that this is very light and easy to move. Get this blown out and then we'll wash it out. All right, so I'm gonna cut this strap they got on the front here off. Don't need that. All right, so right now I'm just gonna spray it down with some light degreaser. That'll kind of loosen up any of the stains, hopefully, and dirt, and then we'll uh, wash it out with the hose. That's doing a great job of lifting whatever was stained on there. Came right off. These boats are two-piece boats. There's a top shell and a bottom shell. They're not waterproof. So we're probably gonna get a little water in the hull from doing this, from spraying the sides and it coming in. Uh, there's two drains in the top, in the front, that we're gonna use to uh, drain this all out before we bring it back into the garage, just to make sure. Oh yeah, look at that. It's coming right back. All right, so for this, we can just dump it out the front. All right, so now I'm gonna be using this vinyl cleaner from Better Boat. Also works really well on plastic. So hopefully it works well on this as well. Now this one, I really wanna hit almost every surface because I'm gonna come back with the brush and just give it a good brushing. Also, now that we wet the boat down, it won't dry so fast. Now we're gonna loosen up all the dirt with the brush. Basically just need to touch every part of the boat if you see any dirt and then this will get it loose and then it should hopefully all just rinse out when we're done. Okay, we're starting to dry up. Let's go ahead and rinse off and then we'll spray some more. Oh yeah, look at that. You can really see the difference just looking at this side versus that side. Like, look at the brightness that came back out of that. Wow, that's awesome. 
Now, unfortunately, I do have a bigger brush somewhere, but I can't find it, so I'm using this silly little tire brush, but concept's the same. Whew. All right, let's give this a rinse down now. All right, now I got her flipped on the side. Let's go ahead and get this bottom part done. Now, I'm not ultra worried about the bottom, but I do want to get all the spider webs and everything off. Just make it easier to work on. Yeah, this cleaner has actually been working out really well. Just demolishing this scum line. So before my camera overheats again, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I got this completely cleaned up from the top to bottom, all rinsed down. Now I'm just gonna get it back in the garage. Before I do that, I'm gonna turn it on its end, make sure all the water is drained out from the pontoons, and then we can get to the major detailing portion of this. All right, well, now that we have the pond prowler back in the garage, all cleaned off and dried up, it's time to do the actual detailing. Now, the main thing I wanna focus on with the detailing of a plastic boat is UV protection. It's gonna be one of the biggest things that's gonna shorten the lifespan of your plastic boat is the sun basically uh, ruining the plastic. But the good thing is there is a lot of different products that offer UV protection for plastics. Um, 303 is a big name brand when it comes to UV protection. Personally, when I'm looking for a UV protection that provides some type of water beading or gloss, I'll use the Turtle Wax Seal and Shine. This is an absolutely excellent product. It lasts forever and uh, it really does a great job with, like I said, water beading and things like that. So I use this on like my outboard cowling, windows and glass, definitely automotive use. You know, you get the idea. However, for today, I'm going to be using this Better Boat Vinyl Protectant. It also works on plastics, and this is mainly used for UV protection. I don't really need all the extra features that this product provides, so I'm not going to be using the Turtle Wax today. Like I said, this is a vinyl protectant that is also a plastic protectant, and this is mainly for UV protection. This will have some gloss properties. It'll bring out the blacks and the plastics and stuff like that, but mainly this is gonna protect your plastic boats or kayaks from the sun. I'm just gonna get started. I'll show you guys how it looks during the process. I'm gonna start with this side of the boat, then that side of the boat, and then I'll do the outside, and then we can take a look at the finished product at the end. One nice thing about these uh, Better Boat products is they have some crazy scents in them. This one smells like, like coconut or pina colada or something like that. It smells really, really good. <laughs> now, once we have this sprayed on, you can just come by and wipe it off. And this is gonna leave that UV coating, this UV protection on everything. But yeah, you can already see how it brings out the plastic and colors uh, applying this product. Once you seal your boat with this type of stuff, it's gonna make it incredibly easier to clean. Dirt and stains and stuff like that aren't gonna get caked on because this actually forms a layer on top of all of the plastic um, between anything that's gonna get stuck to it. So that's also how it provides the UV protection. It's basically like putting sunscreen on your boat, but it also uh, helps with keeping it clean too. Now you may have already noticed it, but one thing I wanted to highlight is what this does to black trim. If you see this uh, black ring here versus the one over here, how much deeper black that looks, this is gonna provide that same deep black to the trim ring and also the bottom portion of the boat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down this front part of the boat here and you can kind of see it change. It really makes trim pieces look brand new. I definitely take a look at this outer ring. You can see where it stops right here. And as I bring this down, It really does make it look brand new. And this boat had sat on the sun. Um, I don't know for how long the person I bought a friend told me. He had it in his garage when I picked it up, but it had clearly sat out on the sun with all the dirt and tree grime baked into it. So this is also just really good to kind of bring any of the plastics that may have faded back. And I already know I'm gonna get these comments of, oh, it's a plastic boat, bro, who cares? It's for fishing. I get it, but you know what? There's a large section of people that buy their things and they wanna keep them looking nice. And this video is for you guys. The top of the boat done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides. Again, this is for UV protection, so a good portion of the boat is gonna be out of the water. And also, whenever you have it out of the water, everything is exposed to the sun. And with that, the Pond Prowler detailing is complete. We have done a complete overhaul of this very caked on mess of a boat and turned it back to looking absolutely brand new. 
I'll have links in the description for the products I use on this video and also some alternatives if you wanted to try some other things out. But honestly, this did such a great job. I can highly recommend the Better Broke cleaning products. Now, when we take this out onto the water, it is gonna stay clean for longer, protected from the sun for longer, and also just look really good. In my opinion, like I said, this looks absolutely brand new. All right, guys. Well, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more videos about the Pond Prowler and other boats I have on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. In the next video, I'm hoping to take this out, give it a try, and see how I like it. If I do end up liking it, I've got a lot of really great ideas on how I can make it even better. Thanks for watching.